hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm juliana and in today's video i will bring you a book haul this will be books that i gathered uh, through the month so it's not uh, books that i bought on a particular month is um, a pile of 10 books that um, i was i bought uh, through the month so it's a gathering of like four months i think more or less most of them are bought in second hand here in portugal we have a site called trade stories uh, is a site where we can uh, sell and buy books in second hand so that's my main uh, site where i buy my books because you know you can have books for a better price and most of them are in really good conditions so you can make their good deals so i love that site and it's my main place where I buy my books. So, starting with the book haul. First, I'm going to, to show you a group of um, books. They are seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. But they are the same book. So this is... Um, I think this was a project from a newspaper here in Portugal, uh, Expresso, where they launched, I think, between editions of their newspaper, um, they would uh, be with uh, a book that part of the same book, that is Jerusalem from S Simone Sebag Montefiore. So this is um, a book, as the title said, says, about Jerusalem. Uh, and this is a topic and a subject that I'm really interested about. Anything about religion or about important cities like Jerusalem, uh, important, I mean, in terms of history and um, impact on the world uh, so this is a, a book that i'm really interested to read it will not be in the near future because i have a huge to be read pile and this is not high on the list <laughs> at least not yet but i'm eager to read it Then we have a portrait of a young artist, I think that's how you say it, from James Joyce. Um, I don't know anything about this book. I'm supposing this is somewhat autobiography, but I'm not sure. So I don't have, um, I didn't read the synopsis, so I read it. <laughs> now and yeah this is a fictional story but at the same time is a auto portrayal of the youth of james joyce so this is um, an homage to the image of artists so yeah and i bought this one together with uh, ulysses from Jane Joyce because we are celebrating the centenary this year from the publication of this book and my father was uh, curious about this book because he saw the celebrations and he went and uh, read the synopsis something that I didn't do and he was really interested so I bought it for him and I'm showing it here, but this is mainly for, for him. Uh, I al Of course, I'm uh, also going to read it. Again, not in the near future, but someday. <laughs> and let me see. So this passes in Dublin, 
and this this passes in only one day and this passes around three characters and so it's about um, conversations, uh, love intrigues, voyages, dreams. So I think this is very philosophical and passes only in one day. So that will be quite interesting. So uh, yeah, I'm really curious to read this one. Then another one is Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. Bulgakov. I don't know much about this one. I'm not going to read a synopsis. Um, I know this uh, interacts like um, a bit with magical realism, I think, um, because and also with. Um, I think we have here uh, a bit of Fausto's myth as well. Uh, so we have here the interaction of the devil in, in, in the form of a cat. I think that's how it is. So I'm really curious. I read and saw uh, many reviews on YouTube about this book. Um, it was a while ago, so I don't remember very much. Uh, but they all talk about, in a positive way, about this one. And I'm, this is um, a Russian author, I think. Well, maybe it was Russian, but he, he was born what is now Ukraine. So, yeah. Then we have The Grapes of Wrath from uh, John Steinbeck. Um, the little I know about this one, as you can see, I don't know much about the books I buy. I buy them because I heard good things about the author or good things about a particular work. But I don't like to go to my readings knowing too much about the synopsis or the story. I just want to know enough, a general idea, and go with a kind of blind eye so I can be, you know, I don't catch any spoiler and I can go to my reading with a fresh and open mind. So what I know about Grapes of Wrath is that um, it's about a period of um, where it didn't rain. I don't know how you, you called it. Oh my God. Wrath? Perhaps? <laughs> I don't know. So when doesn't rain, how you call it? I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, and it's about a family that is a, a farmer. They are farmers and they have to leave their home because they can't farm anymore. And is uh, I think it's about the voyage that they do when they have to leave their home. Uh, so it's about poverty, misery, uh, difficulties that they, they pass uh, on the voyage. Again, I heard immense positive things about this book. Um, I know that this is a favorite of many people. Uh, and they all say that this is a touching story. A really hard story to read as well uh, but is a beautiful one so really curious then I have hyperspace from Michi Ukaku this is um, a physician physician or no, a physic physic a 
physics professor. Yeah. In New York University. And this is this man here. Um, I love this man. I think he is so great. Uh, I love hearing, uh, hearing him speak. Uh, I think that he has a very expressive way to express himself and the way that he explains things are so clear, you know, he doesn't complicate things and um, it's refreshing hearing him speak. So I really enjoyed the documentaries where he participates in. Um, I saw a few now. Uh, and so I was really curious to, I never read anything by him. So when I uh, was re researching for his books, I want to read them all, <laughs> but I'm really curious more about things related to space. So when I saw this one, I was all eager to buy it. So I bought it. And yeah, I think the, here we are going to, um, he's going to talk about um, things related to space, to the universe, I mean. So physics and uh, black holes and all that kind of stuff. Parallel universes and the uh, 10th dimension. So yeah quite interesting. I'm really eager to read this one. Then we have Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott. I thought this was a, a chunk of a book, but apparently it isn't. It's really short. It has two, 229 pages, at least in this edition. I saw the movie of I think it's 1994, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and I love that movie. I know the story through that movie. Um, I never thought that the movie had a book, and when I discovered it, I uh, became eager to read it, because I love the story, and I love that character, and I really thought this would be a chunk of a book but it isn't so good for me right <laughs> then I have North and South from Elizabeth Gaskell I don't know anything about this one it occurs in the 19th century and narrates about the main character since her tranquil in environment in southeast uh, England till the um, vigorous north talks about uh, in common love to show how a personal life and um, a public life intertwine in a society recently in the industrialized so you know, it's a romance, um, I think, I don't know if this is considered a classic, but I think it is. When I heard, I don't remember where I saw this, but I saw this somewhere, I don't know if it was on Goodreads or on YouTube, um, but I was curious to, to read it because um, they say this is a, a drama like that type of story that has I don't know we can call it twists but some drama happening so and I love drama <laughs> I love when the story has um, is intricate and a lot of stuff stuff happens so I'm really eager to read this one again as I've said before Maybe it will, it will not happen in the near future, but someday I will read it. 
Then we have Middle March by George Eliot. Uh, again, this is a classic. I bought it because this was this was not on second hand. This was this is a new book, but I uh, bought it in a discount together with this one, North and South. I know this is about a woman and a man, but I don't think they meet. It's about their lives, but in a separate way. I think that's how it is. Um, this is also um, kind of a drama as well, um, a romance. And this is a woman that marries uh, really early in when she's still young. And then she becomes to regret her decision to marry uh, the husband that where um, with with whom she is married with because she thought he was a person but she and the, she then find, found found out that maybe he wasn't the person that she thought he was and then the other one the other man i think he's kind of a dentist or a medic something like that and he also has some trouble with, with love and yeah so it's just a general idea of the story but I'm really interested in this book and then lastly we have guns germs and steel the destinies of Human Societies by Jared Diamond. So this is a non-fiction book. I don't know if the title is uh, as I've said it because I'm translating for from Portuguese. Um, but this is a non-fiction book and it's about the evolution of human societies, the evolution that we made through the years and how our technology developed and how that has reper repercussions uh, in several fields of knowledge. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, 13,000 years of history of all continents, a brief history about everything and everyone, the origins of empires, religion, writing, guns, they are all here. Jared Diamond is a professor of physiology in the Medical uh, University of California and winner of several prizes. So yeah, uh, this is the um, Sapiens from, who, I, who is it from? I don't remember the author. I don't have here my laptop with me, so I can't research it. But Yaguru Nagami, maybe it's better not. But you know that book Sapiens, that he also um, talks about the evolution of humankind. This is something like that. This, is, this also talks about the evolution of humankind, but most of all the evolution of societies and how we live in societies and the evolution of technology. So I think this is a quite interesting book. Um, I read really good reviews about this one. They say this is even better than Sapiens. So when they said that, I was all, all eyes on this book. <laughs> yeah, this is one that I have on my to be read pile. Maybe this will be on the top front of all the books that I show here today. So we will see when I read it. But if I do, I will do a video about it. So yeah, that's the book that I wanted to show you. Uh, 
maybe I won't do this video every month because I buy uh, a little amount of books every month so I don't think that it's enough for a book haul but when I gathered um, some books again I will do a, a new video about it and I show here in a format of a book haul so stay tuned so yeah I think that's it um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already leave a like it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel follow me on Instagram I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do and yeah I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one bye